What's up everybody, before this video officially starts, this is only one of several videos in my Win Big and Music Networking course. You can find the information on that course in the description below. If you've already been a part of my email list, you've been sent it, so you can search it in your email using the instructions below. If you can't find it, then you just need to, you know, download it yourself again. It's a simple course, seven days, seven emails. Other than that, enjoy this video right here. Oh, what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i have to talk about another thing that's really important when it comes to networking and that is location and i mean this in two different ways one way i've already kind of alluded to right that's getting outside of your industry what location you're in as in what industry are you networking within so getting outside of the music industry, if you look at my video on Futuristic, that'll be referenced. He used a relationship with a YouTuber to really get things going. He went viral, brought a lot of people into his music, and that's a different industry, different circles, so to speak, from a lot of music circles. There's some overlap, but then there's a lot of different places and different people to work with. And as I've said, the biggest advantage of this type of situation is when you're getting in different circles, you stand out, right? Being the rapper amongst rappers doesn't make you stand out, but being the rapper amongst, I don't know, violinists, that's still a music industry, but it's still a different side of a music industry. Or being the rapper amongst dancers, or being the rapper among tech CEOs you stand out for a variety of reasons and i think you can understand that so take that run with it apply it to different types of industries but the second type of location is more in reference to literal geography so if you look at the video i've referenced with six nine he blew up overseas really before he blew up in the u.s now what's the advantage of being in a different location well it's similar just like the music industry maybe you are among rappers but you might be the only american rapper who's really giving fan based a certain type of energy it's cool they listen to all the big artists over in america however there's none of them that really give them special attention and none of them that they can watch their come up all the way from beginning to blow up because most american artists at a certain level are trying to get their come up in america and then come overseas I've had times chopping it up with Ryan Leslie. If you don't know Ryan Leslie, music producer has produced for Cassie, Diddy, with Kanye West, also the owner of Superphone. He told me the very same thing, the way he really started boosting and moving in his career and why most of his fan base to this day, when you talk about his super fan base, is in Europe. It's because in the mid 2000s when he was coming up, a lot of these artists, yeah, they would go over to Europe as he would say, but when they would perform, they would perform and get out. They might not even be there for a long time, 30 minutes to an hour. They'd collect that bag, not treat the fans super well. It was like they were just tourists. They said, we're going to get our money and go home. We really don't want to make super connections. That's how he said a lot of of the big artists were acting who were coming over from America. Him, on the other hand, he said he would do like three hour sets. This is before he really had an American following, seriously. However, he was that guy from America who's giving them all of this attention, all of this play. So just by engaging more with fans and then being from a different place, he was able to stand out it got him a lot more value. Many of you have experienced or seen this similar phenomenon when somebody comes to a new school. Everybody knows who the new girl or new guy at school is. Even if they're not necessarily cool with them or don't necessarily like them, they at least know who that new person is. You do this for yourself when you go to different geographies. But most of the times you only can really take advantage of it if you're doing it strategically and understand what you're doing. It doesn't necessarily have to be as extreme as going outside of the country. The point at the end of the day is really to find areas where your kind usually do not engage and engage with those people, whether it's for networking or fan base building. Just make sure every once in a while you be a little strategic in how you place yourself because in those moments, you're able to get a lot more for far less effort. And that's it for now. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.